What is going on you guys? Thank you for clicking on today's video. I am so excited to show you this. Today we are unboxing and reviewing this 10 foot Dial of Destiny style bullwhip made by Steve Townsend of Townsend Handcrafted Whips. All right, moment of truth. Time to give it a crack. <laughs> Um, the whip keeper I have on here is a double wrap uh, 1969 uh, Make It Jones whip keeper. But I have not cracked this whip yet, so I'm very excited. Let's hope I don't mess it up on the first try. So even though this whip is brand new and still a little stiff, it has an amazing rollout, really good control. And for someone like myself, I'm not super accustomed to 10 foot whips. Most of the ones I use are eight foot and under. So this handles great. I can't wait to put more years and mileage on this and, and really get familiar with it and cracking with a 10 foot whip. Um, this is awesome, Steve. Well done. So in my pursuit of Dial of Destiny cosplay, I really wanted a good bullwhip for it. Something that wasn't just a belt hanger, but kind of a legacy piece. And while I've had a lot of bullwhips in my life, I've only ever commissioned one custom kangaroo hide whip before. And that's my Joe Strain 8 foot Raiders whip. All the other ones, um, apart from the nylon whips, I've gotten second hand. When I commission a piece of custom indie gear, it has to speak to me, it has to mean something to me. And I always like to have like a little bit of a friendship with the maker, or at least I like to know them uh, to some capacity. And I've known of Steve for a long time. I've seen whips he made for Morgan Loff of the California Jones Group, um, Trent here in California. And I was really impressed with Steve's work. And even more than that, I was impressed by Steve as a person, not just as a businessman, but as a fan. And as we keep hearing in videos like mine or Nathan's or anyone's, the fans are doing the best work these days. And I've been so impressed by Steve's work and attention to detail over the years that I kept thinking he would be the guy to commission for my Dial of Destiny whip. And I'm really glad I went with him. Uh, I reached out to him and basically said, I went to the premiere last June and I want to replicate at least as close as possible the bullwhip that I saw on the red carpet on the mannequin. Look at the shape of the toe too. Well, I'm looking at the sole. And I sent him as many reference photos as I could. I told him what I saw, the color I wanted, everything. And he has done a marvelous job, not only creating a replica of that whip, but something functional and you know usable for someone like me. This is not just a cosplay piece, but this is a functional bullwhip. I also really wanted to get a 10 foot, not only to be screen accurate, but because I don't have a 10 foot whip really. Um, I mostly use eight foots and six foots and, uh, and in between sizes. I'm not that good with 10 foot whips. So I wanted to get a piece like my Joe Strain whip that I can practice with and grow with. And you know, this isn't just a replica of Indy's whip, but this can be my whip. Um, and, and Steve really knocked that out of the park. So uh, one of my favorite things about ordering from, uh, from Steve was his communication. Throughout the entire process, he was constantly messaging me with updates and asking me questions to make this as perfect for me as possible. And that was really impressive and, and I really appreciate it because when we order pieces of gear, whether it's a hat, jacket, or whip, you know, number one, it's a, it's a pretty sizable monetary investment, um, but it's also something we're excited about. We're fans, we, we 
love this kind of stuff. We love gear. So going back to Steve being a fan is he loves making whips. He told me one time uh, he was gonna work on my whip on his day off. And I told him from his, uh, from his day job, and I was like, no, dude, you know, relax. You know, if you need a day off, take a day off. And he, he told me he was looking forward to making my whip because that's what he loves. That's what he really wants to be doing. And that, that spoke volumes to me. Um, that's the guy that I want making my whip, the person who's excited to make it, um, who has that intrinsic motivation and, and love for his craft. So that was really impressive. So if you are in the market for a bull whip, there are a lot of great vendors out there, but I would love to throw Steve Townsend's name into the mix. I know he's been around for a while and a lot of you are probably familiar with his work, but I am very, very impressed with this whip and I can't wait for many years and miles uh, to come with it. Um, it's, it's incredible. So Steve, if you're watching, thank you so much for this. Um, I'm really excited. I didn't know this when I was ordering it, but this is his first Dial of Destiny whip. Um, so if you're in the market for a Dial of Destiny whip, I can attest uh, he knocked it out of the park. So with that, fortune and glory, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm bad in intros. Fortune and glory, everybody. Cheers. Did I say intros? Uh, outros. God, I'm quitting YouTube.